Kimberly and I am here today to bring you a bomb not a haul not a review well in a way to review and um but it's about the bomb it's gonna I'm just gonna show you all my bomb palettes that I have I'm also gonna include picture swatches in this uh, video collection they're that one hidden treasure that you have in your makeup collection that you're like what should I wear today? And then you take it out and you're like, oh my god, I forgot how amazing these shadows are. They are so pretty, so pigmented, so beautiful. Oh, I'm just in love, you guys. I'm in love. Okay, this is the nude. This is number one. This is the original nude. This is the palette that everybody, every makeup collector should have in their makeup. Because it reminds me of how amazing Urban Decay is. If you do not want to spend $54 on Urban Decay, this is the palette you need to get. This is it right here, honey. This gives you a great shadow range, but it's, this gives you great eyeshadow range. I love, love these colors in here. And I, as I said, I will insert um, picture swatches of these, but these shadows and the shadows, these, I, I will tell you something about the light shadows. On imaging, on pictures, um, the swatches are not going to show up very clearly because they are very light and come off very light. But they are great highlighters. And they really do brighten up your eye when you use them. So I love, love these shadows. And I love the names on these. Oh my god, these are amazing names. Sassy, stubborn, selfish, sophisticated, sexy, serious, snobby, standoffish, sultry, seductive, silly, sleek. These are just great names. I just love, love these shadows. And this purple is right here. It's like a purple go um gray tone. It's so pretty. Oh. It's to die for. Like, I don't see other shadows with that color. It's just amazing. I'm going to swatch some of these on my hand for you guys. Just some of them. Not all of them because, like I said, I will include swatch pictures. And plus, I swatched them so hard yesterday that there's shadow everywhere on these containers. But look, you guys. Those are just three of the shadows I swatched in the first row. Stubborn, selfish, and sophisticated. Right there. And these are just three of the swatches. Just three. And watch, you guys. Look at that. Look at that swatch. Look at that pigmentation. Look, that's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I just love these shadows and they're they're um have a pearl type of finish to them like a satin pearl type of finish not really some have glitter in them and um some look like they have glitter in them but they're more of a satin pearl finish they're just oh that's just amazing I really really love this palette that one of the reasons I really think you should buy it is because it is so much cheaper than Urban Decay. It is so much cheaper than the Naked Palettes. It is more expensive than Drugstore. And one of my favorite drugstore brands that is affordable is Milani. And then Wet n Wild, of course. And also um, Target has Sonia Kashik officially. And I really love Sonia's eyeshadows. They give you a nice pigmentation for the price. And they are pretty and they last very long and they're very, very pigmented. I really love Sonya's sh shadows. So if you guys can't afford 40 bucks, 50 bucks, those are the shadows you need to use because they are beautiful. But for the bomb, for a cheaper price than $54, you need the new two. I love, love these shadows. They are so pigmented, so soft, so creamy, so intense, so insane. And uh, I just can't say enough about these. I just love, love, love them. And I really think if you're starting out in the bomb, I really think you need the nude to the first. I don't care if you have 50,000 nude shadows uh, palettes in your collection. You need the nude to because it's just that amazing. It's just amazing sauce. It's awesome sauce in a can, you guys. Awesome sauce in a can. And I spent probably 15 minutes on that one alone. Okay. 
Now, if you have the new tooth, and you think you don't need the new dude, you do, people. You do. These colors are different. These are more of, I would call the, um, the new tooth more of a, a cool tone nude palette as to where new dude is more of the natural warm tone palette that you would expect for an, uh, a nude palette. Now, these are just some amazing, you have their, your basics right here. Your basic brown, your basic highlighter, your basic transition color, your basic coppery color. And then you have more colorful ones right here. Now, my mirror is full of makeup because I swatched these so hard yesterday. And as I said, I will insert pictures. I just love, love this palette. In fact, I used it this morning. No. Not this one, I used a different one. But some of these colors are very similar to the one I use. Um, I did wear the Balm eyeshadow today. I really love, love this palette for the colors alone. They are so unique, like this dark green one. You can use that as a liner. This friendly one as a liner. These are pretty much your liners right here. Your eyelid colors and then your highlighters right here. And of course, if you didn't know, you can actually take your highlighter colors right here from this uh, palette and from the new two. Take a brush, brush it around, and use it as a good highlighter or uh, contour um, sh shadow, in case you guys didn't know that. I learned that from a Kohl's representative. But I really, really love these shadows. They are good. They are really nice wet because I was uh, swatching them yesterday and I was spraying alcohol on my arm to rub the swatches off. And these go really nice very wet too besides dry but I don't like using my shadows wet because I feel that creates more bacteria into the shadow palette so I just always use all my shadows dry completely dry um but this is a really nice palette and for the price which I got this 40 bucks with an eye uh what a mascara a full size mascara you guys it was a great deal. I just love, love this palette. And it's one of my favorites. And I'm going to have to remember to use it more often. Okay. Now, up next is the Shady Lady by the Bomb, peeps. The Shady Lady by the Bomb. Okay. And I love the names on these. Um, I'm going to open this up and show you. The names on these. Look at those. Those are pretty. Feisty Felicia, Caught in Act Courtney, Shameless Shauna, Insane Jane, Mischief Mar Marissa, Just This Once Jamie, Envious Aaron, Devil Danielle, Devilish Danielle, and Luscious Lonnie. And now, of course, if you look around the, the uh, shadows, this is the one thing I like about this palette. If you look around the shadows, they do have um the names there and then on the back of the palette they tell you in the name section how you can use these shadows you guys as liner as shadow as um yeah that's pretty much it liner and shadow but the thing i don't like about these is that i found the two top ones these two dark ones um which have glitter in them are very gritty and hard and rough to use as to where the the mattes are very dry and all the shadows of course are representation of the bomb they do have a lot of fallout i will repeat that that's one thing i noticed big throughout all of the palettes they have fallout because they are so creamy in texture so smooth so finely grained that they do cause fallout um but they do last all day if you have primer on your lids you guys I love the mattes in these and I love the pearly t ones which are like right here these two are more pearl but these two up here which are uh, glitter filled are very um, gritty to the touch and I have and their liner to me their liner because I use all my dark colors as liners but I'm not too crazy about that. Although, I will say this about the Shady. This is the Shady Lady. This is, I think this is the original. This is number one. Because they have Shady Lady 1, 2, and 3. But they all have different colors. Covers. 
They all have different covers, so you can you will know which one this is. Um, I got this and uh set as well i forget what came in oh um primer and shadow i mean mascara but um i do love the mischief marissa and the devil's uh danielle those are very um coordinate very well with the marcella color that's coming up for the new season pantone's pick of the year 2015 the marcella color those would work very well in your eyeshadow uh, line for those Okay guys, so my next favorite is Meet Matt New. Okay, there was a, uh, another one to this, I guess years ago called Meet Matt. And Emily Noel 83 actually did a video on that uh, mat. So you, if you wanted to go find it, just go find Emily Noel 83. Um, Meet Matt Nude is one of my favorite matte palettes. It's an all matte palette. And of course it has all the names on the back. And I just love the packaging on the bomb. Like, this packaging is so freaking cute. It's so adorable. So, you know, as a makeup collector, that really attracted my eye. And, but I do love the shadows in here. And that's very rare. I am not a matte person. In fact, IT Cosmetics has two matte palettes. And I hate them both. You guys, I hate them both. But... This is one of my favorite matte palettes ever, ever, ever. And the reason I love this is because when I apply these shadows to my eyes, they don't blend to the point where it just looks like I have a bunch of mud. Like I just took a bunch of mud and slapped them on my eye. And maybe that's my fault, but to me, it really, it does rely somewhat on the shadow. These all blend very nicely. They're very smooth. They're very creamy. <sighs> As you can see, look at those. Those are matte Abdu, matte Labardi, matte Hung. And those are nice shadows, like super nice shadows, you guys. Look, look at that. Look at that pigmentation, that color range. And I still have color on my fingers too, you guys. Still color on my fingers. And it's so nice and they're so creamy to the touch when it comes to matte, they're matte shadows. Like, that's insane to me. I have never seen matte shadows, like a whole matte palette that nice. Okay, you guys, they are so pretty, so beautiful, so blendable. And the color, I have a hard time getting the co dark colors on my hands. I had the same, same thing last night. That's why I was using alcohol besides my makeup wipes. But I really love this all matte palette. And this was actually the other palette that Melissa was asking me about. But I really love this palette. I really, really love this. And I think this is a great addition to anybody's collection. And also, if you look on Holt Look, Holt Look does a lot of, um, always has the bomb on there. Constantly, along with Tarina Tarantino, which are some of my favorites. And these are just, you can't live up to the quality of mattes in this palette. The Balm does mattes like nobody's business. Like, oh my god, I'm just so in love with this palette. And I'm so in love with these shadows. Like, perfect matte shadow. If you love mattes, this is the matte palette to get. And it's, that's why it's named matte. <laughs> okay, guys, I swear this video is probably going to be 20 to 25 minutes long. Because I keep talking keep talking okay so this is the palette i am wearing today no wait is this yeah this is the palette i'm wearing today and let me just read you some of these names metallica Ag uh agoji blink 1982 iron maid and a girl the stroke led Zeppelin, moderato rim alice copper Presto, Third Eye Blind, Solid Gold, Do You Want Me, Millie, Vanilli. Okay, you guys, and I will explain those names in a minute. Wait, is this the palette I used today? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the palette. Yeah, this is the palette. Okay, I got confused between another bomb palette I'm about to show you. I use Iron Maiden and um, Alice Copper on my eyes. Okay, guys, these are... 
um, lip glosses on the bottom here. I want to show you these real quick. Melly and Vanilli are lip glosses or lip and cheek stain type things. I find that they don't work whatsoever on my cheeks, but they are nice um, lip glosses. And especially the red one. The red one does have a little pigmentation to it. Not enough, but enough to give some color to your lips. So I do like those. They're okay. They're not like all it's cracked up to be. Um, Disco Disco is a luminizer. That's the solid gold luminizer. It's a highlighter. <sighs> Holy Mary Jesus, Mother of God. This is the highlighter to end all highlighters. Like, oh my God, I love this highlighter. Um, it reminds me of the bombs. Um, Mary Lou. Yeah, it's Mary Lou Luminizer. I think it's Mary Lou. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Mary Lou. And then the pop, do you want me to want me? I, I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. I don't know if you can tell. Um, that really is a nice peachy, rosy color. So, and with the balm, I cannot stress this enough. With all brown powder, the little bomb products, all bomb products, highlighter, eyeshadow, everything. A little goes a long way, guys. A little goes a long way, even with the eyeshadows. I really love these eyeshadows. The pigmentation on them are so gorgeous, so pretty, so insane. They are just, oh, and I love this. And I did um, Iron Maid, which is like a gold coppery color, and Alice Cooper, which is like a red coppery color for my look today because I want to add like a Christmas look in. And then I just did um, Allegro as a transition color in the crease. I really, 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 and I had out that Attica or whatever that one is right there as um, my high bra, my highlighter on my bra. But these guys, this is such a nice palette. You get everything in here lip gloss, highlighter, blush, and then all these eyeshadows. And this is the rock and roll. Rockstar Bomb Jovi palette. I love this palette. It's one of my favorites. All the bomb. I say that all about all the bomb palettes. They're just amazing. Like these eyeshadows for their price, for everything, they are just amazing, you guys. And guys, there are cheaper palettes here yet. I haven't gotten to them, but they are cheaper um sticking your purse palettes that I have off to the side here that I'm gonna get to in a minute. And I'm probably gonna break this up into a two pot harder depending on how long this is okay so this is the bomb side palette this is a new palette by the bomb and the reason i grabbed this palette is because it's got stencils in it to help you with your um bra your eyebrow and your liner you guys your eyebrow and wing liners okay this is just, uh, the packaging is so cute. The packaging is 1950s, <sighs> slow down Melissa, 1950s, um, oh god, pinup, 1950s pinup you guys, 1940s, 50s pinup, I love the pinup style on all of this packaging that just attracts your eyes to the packaging. And then to top it all off, the shadows in here, the highlights, the contours, everything are just amazing. Look at these shadows, you guys. Look at these shadows. And of course, down here is your liner um, things. And then there's on the way bottom, there's directions here. Um, But these shadows are just amazing. I want to show you High Tide because High Tide is my favorite shadow out of this. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to finger you guys. Give you guys the, the bird finger. But look, here you go. And watch this. This is like, I've never seen anything like this except for in Marc Jacobs. Okay. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. That is insane. I've never seen anything like that in Marc. Uh, uh, the only place is Marc Jacobs. And Marc Jacobs is $60 or higher, you guys. So the intensity of that white pigmentation right there. That highlight is insane. I love it. That's more like a um highlighter than it is an eyeshadow, really. But that's insane, you guys. Oh. And that's high tide out of this um palette. And I just love, love this palette. Love this palette. It's insane. 
It's insane. Again, another great palette. And I believe these were 35 or less. I'm pretty sure these were 35 or less, if I'm not mistaken. Matt, I got off of Holt Look, and I got this for like 14 bucks, you guys. So really, if you want the bomb palettes and you can't afford Kohl's, wait till Holt Look, or Hot Look, however you want to call it, has a sale, and get these palettes on sale. 